Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all our pupils in the senior school and our recent graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this evening to celebrate the achievement and successes of our pupils. Our prize giving is again required to be a virtual event. However, I hope that that does not take away from the fantastic achievements of our pupils. We have some excellent speakers for you tonight and you'll be hearing from Lee Watson, Education Service Manager with Falkirk Council, Andy Scott, world-renowned figurative sculptor of the Kelpies, and last year's captains Anna Colston and Callum Ferguson. So please stay tuned with us tonight. I've spoken to a number of our young people over the past few weeks and it is becoming increasingly apparent that although many young people have faced challenges and significant challenges over the previous session, we have still continued to develop as a community through the support that has been available to our young people, not only by staff, but also by the support of their peers through the various wellbeing initiatives that have been ongoing throughout last session. These views have confirmed my belief that as a community, we have risen to the many challenges we have faced and come through stronger. It is important that we do not let our past experiences dictate who you are, but let them be a lesson that strengthens who you will become. It is therefore critical that we recognise and capture our learning, successes and achievements over this past year. Regardless of the challenges that we may have faced, our young people have performed exceptionally well and the SQE results this year certainly bear that out. Those results never came by chance. Last session, our young people rose to the challenge and worked extremely hard under very difficult circumstances, as did the teachers in the school, to ensure that you achieved what you deserved. And you did very well indeed, demonstrating our ability as a school community to raise the bar and also to close the gap for all our young people. So looking forward, we have exciting plans for our pupils this session with the launch of further wellbeing activities, our learning for sustainability work, our new Pupil Leadership Academy and the Rights Respecting School Initiative. I'd like just to take a moment to pay tribute to the staff in the school. I would like to personally thank them for the way they have been dedicated to our young people over this last session, but particularly for the way they have shown their ability to constantly adapt and be creative in their efforts to get the best from our young people. This prize giving, I would like to give special recognition to all of our senior pupils for your collective efforts in doing everything you could to help us through last session. Every pupil in the school has contributed and I would like to both congratulate and thank you all. Your efforts are again testimony to the part we all play within this community and emphasising that we are FHS. To all our prize winners, I would like to say congratulations and well done. You should be proud of yourselves and no doubt you will have made your families and teachers extremely proud. You are fantastic young people and I hope that whatever it is that you do next, you build on your successes of last session and get a taste for celebrating achievement that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Finally, there is no doubt that these will continue to be challenging times and there will be more times when the pathway ahead may be slightly unclear. However, my promise to you is that we will strive to continually improve the educational provision in Falkirk High School. We will be absolutely committed to providing a safe and stimulating learning environment based on positive relationships, aiming to give our young people the best possible chance to thrive in their future lives. We will continue to emphasise our key messages of working hard to the very best of our ability. 
and importantly, treating each other with respect and kindness, regardless of our position or status. Well done again to all our pupils, and I hope you enjoy the evening. We are now going to hear our first musical performance by Leila Carrick, and following that, we will hear our first address of the evening from Lee Watson. Thank you. Good evening, students, parents, carers and teachers. What a pleasure and privilege it is to be involved in the celebration and recognition of the successes of the young people of Falkirk High School. It has been an interesting 18 months where schooling as we all know it has faced many challenges and opportunities as a result of the pandemic. This celebration ceremony gives us a chance to reflect on that last year and give recognition to the commitment of you as young people. I'd also like to take a moment to thank all the staff at Falkirk High School for their commitment to ensuring the school community can continue to operate even when greatly disrupted and under significant pressures of remote and blended learning. Although this evening is to celebrate the achievements of the young people, know that your contributions to their success is recognised and valued. To the young people, the resilience you have shown to continue to build on your knowledge, skills and talents is to be commended and I hope that you can recognise how significant a life lesson this whole experience has been. Whether this is the start, the middle or end of your Falkirk High School journey, the importance of your response to challenge will serve you well in the future. What has always been apparent to me since working for the Council is the pride and dedication of the Falkirk High School community to support you to be the best version of you. Just take a moment to think about what that means for you. Do you see the best version of you as a moment in time where you were at your best, an award you have achieved or something you may have won? Or do you see the best version of you as your goal to live each day being the best you can be? Whichever it is, use this to motivate yourself to dream the life you want to live and live the dreams you dare to have. Here in this virtual room, the pride your parents, your carers, your teachers have in your successes is real, it's present and it's tangible. I hope you too take pride in what you have achieved and enjoy the success in whatever is next for you. And remember, there is no one single path we should all take. If I asked the five-year-old you what you wanted to be when you grow up, what would your answer have been? An astronaut, a vlogger, a teacher or an influencer? Remember the dreams and excitement you had when you were little. More relevant now than ever, your path should be destined by your passions, your interests and your motivations. 
Continue to take every opportunity you can to build on your learning. If the last 18 months have told us anything, it is that we can adapt and we can succeed even when life doesn't go the way we expect it to. There is no wrong path. Just find the route that lets you live your best life. Show up and demand the best of yourself. And in turn, you will reap the rewards of your efforts. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't turn out, just take another shot. Congratulations to each of you and to the school for recognising these achievements in such splendour. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Andy Scott and uh, you may be wondering who I am, you probably don't know, but I'm the chap who made the Kelpies and hopefully you'll have heard of them. Um, I know they're in your town and uh, maybe some of you have been to see them. You can't really miss them I suppose. But I'm uh, saying hello to you because I'd like to congratulate you all on winning prizes and graduating and finishing Falkirk High School. Um, you must be very, very proud of your achievements, and so you should be. Um, I'm quite envious, actually, because uh, I, I wish I was your age again and I could have another go at things because uh, you really don't know what the future holds, and uh, I wish you all the very best. I've got to tell you that when I was in high school, I got a C for my higher art, and I, f I was so useless at technical metal work, they told me not to continue. And then, years later, I ended up bu building the biggest horse sculptures in the world, so... I guess that goes to show that you just don't know what's around the corner and no matter what you did and what your results were, if you work hard and you apply yourself, it will come good in the end. So without wanting to sound like a wise old man, take it from me, you just don't know what the future holds and just go for it. Um, so uh, yeah, as I say, congratulations to everybody on all your achievements, whether you're a prize winner or not. I know how much effort that takes. Um, I'd like to say a little bit about who I am and uh, where I got to where I am now. And where I am now is Philadelphia in the United States. Uh, for many years I worked in Scotland. I was born in Glasgow, raised in Glasgow. I actually have family connections in Falkirk. My dad was from Falkirk and I still have relatives in the town. So I know Falkirk very well and uh, it's been an amazing thing to see how much it's transformed over the years. And I think the Kelpies have probably played a small part in that in recent years. But uh, where I am now, is, as I say, is Philadelphia, and I, and I got here because I had a studio in Glasgow and, and also in Australia at one point. Uh, one project leads to another, and before you know it, things have changed and uh, you find yourself, I found myself in a new country, setting up new projects, new workshops, and, and still working hard 
Um, so that's where, where you see me this evening in a little house here in Philly. And it's, it's great to be able to contact you through the wonders of uh, modern technology. Um, it uh, uh, feels very, very far from home, but in some ways it's great to still connect with the people of Scotland and especially the people in Falkirk. Um, the context around the Kelpies and the impact that they have in Falkirk, well, you know, it's an amazing thing. It was the most important part of the project was was the, the local population in Falkirk. And, and from the very, very outset, partly because of my, my father and his, his history in the town, that was one of the vital parts of things that, that the sculptures had to work for the people of Falkirk before the, the media got in touch, before all the awards and accolades and all the stuff that came along. For me, it was most important that they worked for Falkirk. And uh, because my clients at Scottish Canals and the Helix and Falkirk Council were so good in, in bringing the project at the Helix to everybody in Falkirk, it meant that everybody knew what they were and, and what was taking shape and, and I'm pleased to say it seems to have worked and uh, as far as I know the response has been fantastic and uh, maybe people have just been kind to me when they've seen me but they seem to have gone down very well and I'm very very proud of that. That was the most important part uh, of, the, of the whole thing. Since then they've gone on to become global icons. They've popped up in all sorts of places. I've seen them in in-flight magazines for Qantas Airlines in Australia. They've been on the posters for them in the Shanghai subway. They've been on tourist buses in New York and you never know where you're going to see them next. And it's such an honour to think that I've contributed something that's put Falkirk on the map to that degree. And uh, I think everybody in the town and everybody involved in the Kelpies and the Helix should be very, very proud of, of what they've achieved for the town. And I'm deeply honoured to have been able to do that and be part of that project. Huge team effort though. Um, that that uh, actually ties into one of the other things that that uh, I've been asked to speak to you about, which is that do small things really well and that those small things can make a big difference. And that is in fact, you know, from my original little sketches, which were only in a little sketchbook about this size, the Kelpies went on to be over 30 metres tall and weigh over 100 tonnes. So sometimes those small things, initiatives like that, can roll out and become major, have a major, major, major impact. Um, so, uh, you know, from the smallest things, stay dedicated, stay to it, and you never know how things are going to work out. Uh, it takes teamwork, um, and it's important to remember that, you know, you're always part of a wider, a wider connection, a wider society. That's another thing that I've been asked to talk about, that the sphere of influence, um, you know, the Kelpies, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the lucky centre forward that scored the winning goal, but there was a huge team behind me. There was over 100 people involved in the Kelpies. There was dozens of companies, some incredibly talented people, and I get all the glory sometimes, but without everybody else, uh, I would never have uh, been able to achieve what I did and what we all did collectively with the Kelpies. And it's the same for all my projects. You know, often it looks, you, the way you see things in the media or whatever, it looks as if I'm the only person involved, but behind the scenes, there's always a whole load of people, whether it's truck drivers or crane drivers or, or the guys that do the foundations or the electricians that do the lights or closer to home, even my own lovely wife who looks after them. everything I do and makes sure I turn up at the right place at the right time and holds a phone right now so that I can speak to you today. There's always other people involved and it's important, whatever you do in your careers as you move forward, be respectful of that and, and recognise the other people that are involved and be mindful that it's not all about you, even though sometimes it feels like it. Um, so... Yeah, that's an important thing to think of and, uh, you know, there's everybody's connected and it's important that you're referen reverential towards that and, and uh, be mindful as you, as you go through life. Um, you know, it's, uh, it says uh, here about uh, working for something bigger than yourself and as I mentioned before, uh, to think that the Kelpies grew from a sketchbook to being representative of a whole country is really quite an amazing experience and... Uh, I'm deeply honoured that that's the case. Um, you know, I've not much more to, I think I've covered all the, the bases here. I hope all that makes sense and you found it reasonably interesting. Um, I'd like to finish up by just saying again, congratulations to everybody, all of you, whether you won prizes or not, especially the prize winners, but you never know what's coming next. Work hard, stick in at it, and I wish you all the very best from over here in Philadelphia. Good luck with everything. Cheers.
And now for the main event, where our young people of Falkirk High School are recognised for a range of achievements throughout session 2021. We begin tonight with the subject awards. These prizes are awarded to pupils who have achieved the best performance in individual subjects. Here are our S4 winners. We now progress to our Faculty Recognition Awards. These awards were introduced last session to recognise pupils who had consistently demonstrated excellent effort, application and commitment to their studies, which is deserving of credit and recognition from individual faculties. Congratulations to our S4 Faculty Recognition Award winners. Well done to you all, you should be proud of your efforts. Moving on to our S5 pupils and back to the subject awards, congratulations to our S5 subject award winners.
well done to you all on a fantastic achievement. Next up is the subject awards for our S6 pupils who have now moved on from Falkirk High School. We hope you're all doing well and enjoying your new beginnings. With the resilience you displayed during your final two years with us, we know you will all go on to be great successes, regardless of the future challenges you may face. Please welcome our S6 subject winners. Congratulations to the winners, well done. We now move on to our Senior Faculty Recognition Awards. Well done to all S5 and S6 pupils who have been recognised. These are fiercely contested awards, so all winners can be very proud of their efforts. A new addition to this year's ceremony is the celebration of attainment success measured against national benchmarks. The following young people have excelled in their academic studies, achieving either five awards at level six, five A's at level six, or alternatively have achieved a level seven award prior to leaving school. The following pupils deserve recognition for their outstanding results. Well done.
It's now time to celebrate pupil achievements within the wider Falkirk High School community. In addition to their academic studies, our pupils are provided with various opportunities to widen their horizons and gain further skills for life, learning and work. Whilst last year was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, we are delighted to still be able to celebrate several wider achievements. Huge congratulations to our, award, our Wider Achievement Award winners. Well done to all of our winners and we look forward to returning to school normality which in turn will allow us to celebrate further success with respect to wider achievements from across the school. Tonight's awards will conclude with this year's special awards. As we move through the awards there are several achievements to highlight which again demonstrates the number of opportunities available to young people in Falkirk High School. The first award is the Lynn Black Cup for Excellence on two instruments. Tonight's winners simply could not be separated. Ailey has shown excellence in both drum kit and piano and has displayed a positive attitude towards learning at all stages. Outside of school, Ailey has accompanied stage productions on drum kit as part of a band. Andrew has displayed excellence in both drum kit and bass guitar accompanied with a fantastic attitude towards learning in music. He has also contributed throughout his time at Falkirk High School by playing in the school band at various events. The joint winner of the Lynn Black Cup for Excellence on two instruments are Daley Black and Andrew Hannon. The next prize is the Mr Miller Prize for Industry and Perseverance Senior Award. This award is awarded to young people who consistently offer maximum effort to all tasks whilst also displaying resilience and perseverance. This year's winner was previously part of our Inspired Learning Space programme, whereby he developed a number of key skills to prepare him for progression into a positive destination. He did not, however, follow the expected pathway of moving into extended work experience in S4 and return to the traditional timetable classes. Since returning to classes, Tonight's winner has demonstrated a high level of commitment and has adopted a mature approach to all that he does. We are delighted to announce that the winner of the Mr Miller Prize for Industry and Perseverance Senior Award is David Black. The next trophy is the Stuart MacDonald Trophy for Endeavour in Technical Subjects. Tonight's winner has shown outstanding commitment, effort and has never given up it's simply not in his nature. He's developed excellent practical skills alongside these qualities too. Huge congratulations to our winner, Rhys Patterson. The next prize was donated by a former Mackay Head of House upon her retirement. She was an advocate of pupils offering maximum effort and application towards inter-house competition and achieving their full potential throughout school. This year's winner has consistently strived to achieve her full potential and applies maximum effort to all that she does. She should be very proud of her success, which has been well deserved. The winner of the Miss Hunter Prize for Determination and Effort is Charlie Sutherland. The next award is the Moira Dunn Trophy for Resilience. Moira Dunn retired from Falkirk High School a few years ago after many years of service. In her latter years, Moira worked in the Extended Pupil Support Unit, offering comfort, advice and stability to pupils. This year's winner perfectly encapsulated the quality of resilience throughout her time at Falkirk High School. She was successful in achieving a place on the school's Pupil Senior Management Team and despite some challenging circumstances in her final year, was still able to achieve a fantastic set of results. We are sure 
that with the resilience that she has shown throughout her time at Falkirk High School, she will go on to be a huge success in the future. The winner of the Moira Dunn Trophy for Resilience is Charlie Mackay. Now we move on to the Duncan McClements Memorial Trophy for Service. As a member of the Pupil Senior Management Team last session, this pupil displayed a strong commitment to sharing the views of both the team and the wider school. By consistently presenting ideas and information to SMT on behalf of pupils and through involvement in events such as I'm a teacher getting out of fear, he helped to make the experience of a challenging year much more enjoyable for all. The winner of the Duncan McClements Memorial Trophy for Service is Ewan Arthur. And now for the Invicum Servit Trophy for Service. Throughout our time at Falkirk High School, this pupil has consistently went above and beyond to help make the school the best place that it can be. A former member of the Pupil Junior Management and Pupil Senior Management team, this pupil's calm and efficient approach towards all that she did helped to influence and shape a number of important events and activities across the school. She always represented the school fantastically well and perfectly encapsulates her school motto. The winner of the Invicum Servite Trophy for Service is Orla Park. The next prize is the Head Teacher's Prize, presented to pupils who have made a significant contribution to the school. Both pupils have had outstanding careers serving as members of both the Pupil Junior Management Team and the Pupil Senior Management Team. They have represented the school with pride and have been fantastic role models to their peers. Both captained the school during the most difficult of circumstances and overcame all barriers placed in their way to ensure that the year could still be a particularly memorable one, particularly for their S6 colleagues. They should both be very proud of all that they have achieved through their time at Falkirk High School and we are sure that they will go on to be very successful in all that they do. The Head Teacher's Prize for Service goes to Anna Colston and Callum Ferguson. As we near the end of tonight's ceremony, we must now recognise the stars of the future. The Walter Niven Memorial Prize goes to pupils who have been successful in being appointed as Vice Captain of the school. This is a significant achievement as all of our Vice Captains had to come through an extremely competitive recruitment process. Congratulations and good luck in your new posts. The winners of the Walter Niven Memorial Prize Falkirk High School Vice Captains for 21-22 are Sarah Kofi, Kieran Doyle, Ella Hayward, Alex Leeper, Angus McLaren, Sophie Reid, Kelsey Wells and Gregor Young. The next award is the School Captain's Prize for Session 2021. As mentioned previously, both pupils have had fantastic school careers at Falkirk High School. They've shown themselves to be brilliant leaders and demonstrated huge resilience through a very challenging session. Congratulations to our school captains of 2021, who are Anna Colston and Callum Ferguson. And now, we welcome Falkirk High School's captains for session 21-22. After another hugely competitive recruitment process involving a high number of talented young people, we once again have another fantastic pair of leaders to represent our pupil body for session 21-22. Throughout their time at Falkirk High School, both pupils have been involved in a range of activities and opportunities. In doing so, they have consistently demonstrated the highest standards and have always provided excellent role models for the wider school community. Their excellent communication skills will without doubt allow them to carry out the role effectively throughout the session. Both pupils have also demonstrated a real passion for the school and have a desire to make it the best environment possible for all members of the school community. They have previously held positions on the Pupil Junior Management Team when in S3 and we are sure that both will be very successful in leading this year's Pupil Senior Management Team. Receiving the Centenary Trophy for Session 21-22 are the school captains Erin Gray and Logan Sybil. We now move on to the penultimate award of this evening's prize giving which is the award of Proximate Akeset. 
For session 2021, this is a joint award as the pupils could not be separated, achieving identical awards and bandings in the rescue results. Both pupils achieved five A's and higher qualifications, which is a hugely significant achievement. This is even more impressive against the backdrop of disruption and uncertainty with respect to the academic session. We are very proud of their achievements, which are a reflection of their hard work and dedication. A huge congratulations to the joint prize of Proxima Akesit, which goes to Kieran Doyle and Erin Green. Our final award of the evening is the George C. Mackenzie Memorial Prize Ducks of Falkirk High School. Again, this prize is reflective of outstanding performance with respect to a team. Both pupils achieved the incredible outcome of five A's at level six higher award, achieving a band one for every subject. The commitment and dedication required to achieve such an outstanding set of results is reflective of two excellent role models within Falkirk High School. Both pupils should be very proud of what they've achieved. Huge congratulations goes to the joint winners of the George C. Mackenzie Memorial Prize, Joint Ducks of Falkirk High School, Sarah Coffey and Logan Sibbald. That concludes tonight's presentation of prizes. Congratulations again to all of our prize winners. Miss Gray will be in touch shortly with regards to your prizes. We now approach the end of this evening's prize giving. However, before we finish, we have a final special guest who's returning to share his experience and pathway since leaving Falkirk High School. We are sure you will enjoy hearing about an interesting journey which has led to huge success. We are delighted to welcome back former pupil Peter Meakin to Falkirk High School to share his story. Evening guys, I'm Peter Meakin, I'm a former pupil at Falker High School. Um, I just want to talk to you a wee bit today about my journey from leaving high school 10 years ago up until today. When I was a pupil at Falker High School, my experience wasn't as positive as I'd like to have been. However, there were some classes that I really did enjoy and these were hospitality, PE and music. I knew that I would enjoy practical and hands-on work more than classroom based stuff. Um, and this helped to shape my career for my future plans. I always wanted to find a job that would have been more hands-on and I have managed to achieve that since leaving school. Mrs Mitchell was actually my hospitality teacher and she encouraged me to think about being a chef or working within the hospitality industry, something along those lines. Um, she always encouraged me and believed in me, albeit I did have the ability to frustrate her at times. I'm sure Mrs Mitchell will be very proud to see what I've achieved and I'll tell you a wee bit more about that later on. When I left school, I seen an opportunity with the Falkirk ETU to develop training skills as a chef at the McDonald and Shire Hotel. Following that period, um, the hotel kept me on as an apprentice chef and I worked there for four, about four years and was promoted several times until I became junior sous chef where I was basically running the kitchen. From there I gained an opportunity at the Glen Eagles Hotel, which I've seen as a great opportunity, where I started as a chef de party, serving up to 250 people per night. During my time at Glen Eagles, I was promoted twice and was part of the team that reopened the kitchen, following a massive refurbishment of £5 million. I developed a number of key skills and knowledge during that period, and then I decided that it was time to seek new opportunities. I recently moved to work in a restaurant at the Glen Turret Distillery called Le Leak, and this has been the new challenge that I've set out for myself and I look forward to seeing what happens. When I was working at Glen Eagles Hotel, I was able to enter a competition to become the best overall young chef for the UK, South East Asia and China. Uh, I initially managed to win the, the first place prize for the UK award and then successfully won the overall joint award. In order to do so, I had to cook a free course meal in two hours from a mystery box. This was definitely a different experience from cooking drop scones in Mrs Mitchell's class 10 years ago. The prize, one of the prizes were a brand new Mercedes for a year and the opportunity to sell my menu of box meals through a company called The Cookaway, which will be coming out next year. This has to be one of the proudest moments in my career and will lead to many more great opportunities in the future.
the biggest message that I would like to share with you all tonight is to just have a goal and be determined to achieve it. There was definitely points where I could have went down the wrong path, made the wrong decisions, um, which may have impacted on my success, but staying focused and determined and just have, having a goal and a plan set out, I was able to achieve what I wanted to. I've managed to progress into a career that I love and that's something that I'm passionate about, which makes every day a bit easier. If you enjoy something in school or, or just in life in general, make sure you pursue it and d d don't be in influenced by other people's opinions. Sometimes a passion or a passion for something can sometimes lead to something great. You never know. You should never be afraid to try new things and opportunities. And if it didn't work out, then just, just try something else. It's never always going to go right. Just don't be afraid to follow your interests. I'd like to congratulate tonight's winners and wish you all the very best for the future. I would never in a million years be expected to be invited back to Falker High School speaking at the annual prize given, but it's been a great opportunity to be back and I'm delighted to have been able to leave you this message. All the best for the future. Thank you, Peter, for sharing your inspiring journey. Now we will close this evening's prize giving with an address from last session's school captains, Anna and Callum. They will be followed by a final musical performance from Jude and Callum, which I'm sure you will all enjoy. Thank you for enjoying us tonight. We hope you've enjoyed the ceremony and good evening. We are last year's 2020-2021 captains. We hope you have enjoyed your first few months back at school and are already working hard toward your end of year exam and coursework. As most of you know, I'm Anna and I have just started semester one at Edinburgh University studying physical education. I'm Callum. I've just begun my first semester studying mechanical engineering with aeronautics at the University of Glasgow. One of the biggest reasons Callum and I are where we are just now and have achieved all that we have is the way Falkirk High School has shaped us. This school has given us so many opportunities from the very start of our Falkirk High journey. From sporting events like Scottish Football Championships, Rugby Tournaments, Central and Scottish Swimming School events, Cheerleading, Scottish Basketball Tournaments and so many more. All the way to being part of the STEM team and doing research projects in Newfield. Or Nuffield. Falkirk High's three R's are Respect, Responsible and Ready, which are highlighted across all years in school, with all staff making sure we implement these. This has given us three key words that we now have learned we need in all aspects of our life and have kept in the back of our minds starting our new chapter at university. Covid unfortunately impacted Callum and I's fifth and sixth year. In fifth year we had to adapt our learning very quickly and move on to online learning, which took a little bit of getting used to. But we got there in the end and both achieved our predicted grades. Sixth year was a new year and our very last at Falkirk High. Our only hope was to have a normal and full year. It wasn't to be. We went back online for a few months after Christmas and then started hybrid learning. As school captains, we had to overcome this and think of different ways that we could keep, still keep the school community together. We did this and made each other feel safe and not alone. The resilience we all showed was extraordinary and as captains, we are so proud of how well we got through it. We all adapted so quickly to the challenges we faced at school and at the end of the year got awarded with all the grades we deserved. For all seniors, we want to wish good luck to you all in this challenging but exciting time in your Falkirk High School career. This is where the hard work really begins. Work hard for what you want and seek the support you need if you're struggling at all. We believe that Falkirk High has an amazing support team which can help you at all times, so please use this to your advantage. Most of you have never sat an official SQA exam yet, which you may find a little bit weird, but if you work hard, put in the time and energy, and you know have done everything you possibly can, then you will make yourself, your parents, your family, your teachers, and Falkirk High School very, very proud. To all sixth years, 
this is your last year at Falkirk High School as a student. Yes, that is very scary for some of you, but yes, it is also very exciting. Please think about all of your options and courses before you make any decisions. Remember, university is not for everyone. And now, in 2021, there are so many other amazing paths that you can go down to achieve great, great things. There is no wrong path. To everyone, do not panic. Just remember the famous words from Bob Marley. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing's going to be all right. Good luck everyone, thank you so much for letting us speak at your prize giving and well done to all of tonight's winners.